Wake up, Kenosha, with Bill and Pete, AM 1050 WLIP. 652, wake up, Kenosha. Wellness, MD, and wellness. They're in the Southport Plaza, Kenosha. And they've been helping a lot of people lose a lot of weight with great in-person and online programs. And she's the boss. Sherry Stoker joins us now. Sherry, good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing well. It's, it's Wednesday already, by gosh. By golly. I know. Uh, we have questions. People are inundating the rain barrel. In fact, we've had to replace a couple of slats on the barrel. That's how busy it's been. <laughs> Mr. Question Man okay. is standing by uh, with hammer in hand. Hang uh, on, I'm caught between slats right now. <laughs> ah! All right, you I'm know, out. It's not often morning shows refer to rain barrels and the slats thereof, but we have done it this <laughs> morning. So we have questions uh, that people have uh, offered us. And Mr. Question Man, let's uh, jump into number one here. Yes, indeed. Question one. Are vegan options slash meat alternatives healthier? Meat alternatives. Oh, they're so tasty. <laughs> oh, that's such a great question. And I wish... I really wish I could say that they are a healthier alternative, but because, you know, just in general, people are eating way too much animal protein, and that can be very inflammatory to the body. But to provide you with a quicker answer, you know, these foods are, they're they're not good. They are ultra processed, and they're made of a lot of fake ingredients. I mean, there's just so much, you know, there's so much in my world where we hear about fake meat, fake meat. I mean, it truly is fake. And so, again, the body does not really know what to do with processed and, you know, fake ingredients. So it stores it in fat. So it does, it's counterintuitive to your health. And, and again, you know, vegan, there's vegan options that, that would be better if they weren't so processed. So I would say a healthier, healthier alternative is like grass fed organic meats, you know, in moderation, if you're, if you're willing to eat animal protein. Yeah, I mean, I don't want my dinner to be a science experiment. You know, and that's if you look at like Beyond Burgers and Incognito and all these other brands, look at the list of ingredients and you go, "Holy mackerel, what is this stuff?" <laughs> yeah. There's 22 ingredients in Beyond Beyond Meat, Beyond Beef. It and you're exactly right. It's, you know, an Impossible Burger has 22 patents on it. I mean, it's just weird how <laughs> There, it's a little bit more of an industry than actually yeah. trying to help support, you know, vegetarians. It has really nothing to do with vegan, uh, the ideal of being a vegan or a vegetarian. It has to do all with marketing, is what it, it's like anything uh, exactly. else. I mean, it's a clever name, Incognito. I love the name, but I, you're not going to catch me eating it, <laughs> it anytime is. soon. Number yeah. two, yeah. Mr. Question Man. Uh, from what we shouldn't eat to what we're not eating, what is intermittent fasting and how does it help with weight loss? Yeah. Okay. So intermittent fasting. So the whole goal of intermittent fasting, you know, is so be, you know, the benefits are so beyond weight loss, but essentially what we're trying to do is minimize blood sugar spikes throughout the day, because, you know, most people will say that the, the key to, to health, the key to metabolic health is minimizing blood sugar spikes and insulin spikes. So intermittent fasting is essentially going a longer period of time. So minimum, minimum of 12 hours, without food so the body can kind of reset can do what it's meant to do and so with that you know you are going into a real fat burning mode when you are not eating for longer periods of time so again there's so many other benefits in just improving metabolic health is one of the key things but but again another another benefit is is gut health and an improving you know improving the foundation of the body essentially i think a big part of that is the mindset of people we're so used to eating all the time it's kind of hard to look at this and go intermittent fat i gotta go 12 hours without eating but it's it's not that difficult to do really no it's and it's just a practice you know it's like anything else you have to get your body to adjust and adapt to it and, uh, you know, we've been told for so long, eat small, frequent meals. That's what revs up your metabolism. That's actually the worst thing you can do, even if it's healthy food. We have to stop eating so frequently, bottom line. All right, let's roll up to number three, Mr. Question Man. Yeah, the third person here asks about supplements and their benefits. And I also want to throw on top of that, Sherry, uh, different brands of supplements. Are there Was there a certain brands that we should watch out for, maybe some that 
aren't exactly what they promise. So talk a little bit about supplements and how they help us and which ones we should be looking for. Yeah, Sherry, I get all mine on the internet, so they got to be good. <laughs> right. Well, there's a guy on the radio right. who says, oh, they're all the same. So I was hoping you could address that a little. Oh, good. No, no, absolutely not. I mean, do you guys have about 90 more minutes? Uh, because... No, but... Uh, 90 more seconds. Maybe. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> hey, okay, so let me, let me try to quickly summarize. Like, supplements can be life-saving. They can reverse disease. They can be so beneficial. But to give you a definition, they're supplemental to a good foundation, right? You can't eat poorly and then take supplements and think things are going to, you know, be, be better. So you have to be strategic. There are, there's crap out there and there is very <laughs> high quality supplements. So like I said, I think last week, I'm like, do not buy your supplements from Amazon. Oh my gosh. You have to go through, a, there are so many great supplement companies out there. I mean, you know, to list list them right now, I don't think would provide much benefit. But I think, you know, that's why we're here, right? I mean, we can help advise people, direct people in the right direction, because they can be life changing. And essentially, you know, we are missing a lot of things in our diet, we just are. And and they need to be replaced. And that's essentially what supplements do. They, they replace what's what your body is missing. It is Weightless MD and Wellness. Great programs, custom uh, programs, going to help you lose the weight and keep it off. And not only in person, but those great online programs, Sherry, uh, those are going gangbusters. Those uh, 30-day online programs, incredible stuff. Yes, thank you. Yes, those, can be, those are located on our website. And they, you can also call us if you have any questions at 262 226 2046. That first visit is absolutely free. Now is the time to jump on and get the right supplements. And don't eat that fake meat. <laughs> What's in that stuff? Right. Anyway, if you can't <laughs> pronounce it, don't eat it. It's that simple. Sherry Stoka, Wayless MD and Wellness. Thanks so much. You have a great week. Okay, thank you.